National Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. The term violence against women encompasses forms of male violence against women and girls, including partner abuse, sexual harassment, human trafficking, child marriage, social network harassment, and other forms that cannot be mentioned. Nearly one in three women have been abused in their lifetime. In time of crisis, number rises, as seen during coronavirus pandemic and recent humanitarian crisis, conflicts and climate disasters. A new report from United Nations, based on data from 13 countries since the pandemic, showed that two in three women reported that they experience some form of viciousness and are more likely to face food insecurity. In many places, victims get killed, tortured and threatened. Popular culture is generally against women. Only one in ten women said the victims would go to the police for help. Why pervasive gender-based violence is not inevitable, it can be and must be prevented. Violence against women and girls continues to be the most pervasive and pressing human rights issue in the world today. It is both an abhorrent crime and a public health emergency with far-reaching consequences for millions of women and girls in every corner of the globe. Stopping this violence starts with believing survivors, adopting comprehensive and inclusive approaches that tackle the roads, causes, transform harmful social norms and empower women and girls with survival-centered essential services across policy, justice, health and social sectors and sufficient financing for the women's rights agenda, we can end the gender-based violence. Because after all, preventing and responding to violence against women is a human right, gender equality and public health priority in every country and culture. More action is needed to ensure women in all their diversity live a life free of violence and coercion.